Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Engine. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Black Eye Galaxy. Here is an image of the Black Eye Galaxy. It's a very, very cool looking galaxy with almost like this darker hue going around the spirals. So let's go there in Space Engine and we're gonna see if we can find alien life and what other cool planets and other celestial objects we can find in the Black Eye Galaxy. All right, so here we are in Space Engine at the Black Eye Galaxy and it doesn't look quite as good in Space Engine as it does from the Hubble picture, but you can still definitely see that it is the Black Eye Galaxy with this entire dark region of the galaxy. Um, it's very similar looking to the Milky Way, except all the darkness going around, and it does look like a black eye, and I'm pretty sure that's how it got its name. So let's start by going into this uh, kind of darker area and see kind of what it looks like. So you can see we are like inside of like the clouds of the galaxy and it just makes it look really dark. Let's just start by clicking around and we'll see if we can see any cool planets or anything just by chance. Like this one here might be cool. Oh, wow. Okay, this one is looking cool. It's got rings on it and some different colored areas let's go closer and see what kind of detail we can see on here so it looks like these are probably mountains oh no they're not oh whoa what is on this planet why is it i thought these were mountains but it looks like it's all flat and just different colors on the surface some really dark spots i wonder what causes that let's see if there is any kind of form to the planet these look like they're definitely mountains oh yeah so we do have some kind of mountain ranges with almost like purple on it whoa purple i think is really rare to find and it does have a thin atmosphere you can see kind of a yellowish hue from the horizon but if you look straight up it's hard to see and it, we are in a binary star system them. So there's two suns and let's go ahead and see kind of the passage of time on this planet. So it looks like the stars are kind of stuck together from the point of view of the planet. Um, and as the sun sets, you get a good view of the stars. Let's see realistic lighting. Usually when you have rings, it's actually really hard to see stars because the light from the rings is so bright and it looks like that's pretty true. But if we zoom in where there's no rings, you'll start to see some stuff. There's a nebula there. That's a cool first planet and it's got one more gas giant in this system. Not that many features on it not really bands or storms or anything interesting okay oh it does have a pretty big moon it looks like and well okay wait actually this moon has like its own atmosphere almost kind of like earth it's got blue skies on a moon wow that's a cool looking moon actually are these these aren't liquid right this is just smoother areas could be dried up oceans maybe but that is cool oh whoa okay that's a view from the galaxy that we are currently in um the lighter areas of the galaxy are gonna look really cool because if you're in this dark area you can kind of peer through it and start to see some of the brighter sections let's try to find a planet that's sort of like out here so we can get a good view of the galaxy in the night sky this system has a black hole and a red super giant okay so this is a really cool system really really big star over 3,000 times bigger than our sun and you can see it's almost bulging and like not completely spherical and that's what happens when they get so big and binary with that we have this black hole here wow and the black hole looks so small compared to the star but it's just so dense that they are actually binary with each other and it looks like we have two water worlds in this system wow okay two water worlds so here's the first one i don't think there's any land i think it's all clouds we can turn the clouds off and yeah you can see it is just completely covered in water no land at all so we have that one that's kind of blue water and then this one which i think is also just straight water but it's more green is that because of the atmosphere or is the water actually green let's see the water's brown what all right so it is the atmosphere giving it that green color and the actual water is like brown which is kind of gross looking um, but i think the atmosphere makes it a really pretty planet and it does have a whole water cycle going with clouds so it'd be interesting to see if um, aquatic life would develop or anything like that so let's see the night side on one of these water planets let's see if we can see all this cool galaxy stuff like this in the background so let's go on it the atmosphere is so blue it almost like turns purple i want to see kind of what a sunset would look like watch the sun go down here and see what this kind of looks like yeah it almost gets pinkish and purple and then we get super super vibrant sunset i was trying to get this view which you can kind of see from the surface but the atmosphere is making it harder let's find a different planet around here let's actually search for an earth-like planet that's close to where we are right now uh because i do want to see kind of what earth would look like in this position uh there's no systems around me 
Here, let's fly out a little bit. The star density is super low right here because we're not actually really in the galaxy. So the systems are a lot more spread out than they would be in the galaxy. Here we go. Cold marine terror with life. So this just has ocean life, but it does have life on it. And it does have a ring system too. And is that, whoa. Okay, it's got stars on both sides of it, which is not gonna be good for our night sky, but that is really cool to see. These stars are binary with each other, but each star has its own planets around it. So let's not do this one because this one's not gonna have a good night sky if we have a big bright star. Okay, this one doesn't have life, but it is similar to Earth. It's got 94% Earth similarity. You can see it kind of just looks like a dead Earth, but it does have rings, which is cool. So let's go here. Very, very thick kind of atmosphere. This is almost like a, just like a dead planet is kind of what it looks like. Let's see what the night sky would look like. So actually the sun rises and sets every 24 days. So, whoa, okay. This is really cool looking. You can see the whole galaxy pretty much. You can see the central brighter part and these darker regions outside. Um, but that's really cool. So let's go like towards the center of the galaxy now and see what we can see in here. Oh, I just flew way through it. So now we are flying towards the galaxy. Let's see what this kind of pink thing is. It's probably a nebula. Yes, it is a nebula. Check this nebula out though. Whoa, okay, this has a lot of cool colors on it. Let's see what kind of planets are inside. It's always cool to see planets inside of a nebula like these. Okay, let's just check one of these out because your view of the stars, like check out all the stuff that's just around Around you it would be totally insane to see stuff like this always so let's just land on the night side and we will put it into a more realistic lighting because this is this is cool looking but realistically it's gonna be a little dimmer more like this um but still you're able to see these big bright colors just all around you and because it's completely inside the nebula no matter where you are you're gonna see it as long as the sun's not out to block your view and there you go very cool it looks like there's a star cluster over here that's kind of far though that's a cool nebula very, very big too, because I saw it from far away. Let's go towards the star cluster and see what this is going to be like. Living in a star cluster would be really cool too, but it would be hard to see stuff like, let's 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 search for an Earth-like planet in here. If Earth was inside a star cluster like this, it would be really hard to have constellations. So here's a really dry planet. It's an arid Terra, kind of similar to Earth, 86% Earth similarity index. Um, and what I was saying is like, imagine having to make constellations when the night sky looked like this stars are everywhere and even like realistically lighting like this there's just so many stars it's crazy and whoa okay we're actually like on a mountain that kind of goes up to where the clouds are so this must be a really tall mountain let's wait for day and kind of see what we're looking at okay so here's the daytime so we were on a really big is it probably it's probably a volcano yeah yeah really big volcano here but this is a cool looking planet it's got a super blue atmosphere uh makes the sky look similar to earth with the blue sky you know i want to see a sunset here's a sunset Wow, pretty similar to Earth when you get like the orange and almost the pink hues, but like check out this view. Like this is pretty cool. I like that a lot. The pink and the blue contrasting on the on the volcano. Check this out. Very beautiful game. All right, now let's go to the edge of the galaxy. So here we are at the outside of the galaxy again. Let's go and see if we can find anything over here on these edges. We haven't found a extremely Earth-like planet yet, so I'm gonna search for that. Let's do that. Let's do temperate marine terra with multi cellular life okay so there's three planets that match that near us whoa okay wait there are two planets in this system that have marine and terrestrial life so this is like your sci-fi system where there's going to be, there could be two separate instances of intelligent life developing in the same system. This one looks slightly more Earth-like. This one is the marine terror with life. It's a little cold, so not exactly the same as Earth. This one's got a 94% Earth similarity index, though, which is really high. And this one has a similar kind of view to Earth. There's a, there's a solar eclipse happening right here blocking the, the sun oh yep there you go there's your solar eclipse pretty cool to just see that naturally without having to you know look for that it's got a lot of little islands so i think these are probably volcanic and it's like building the islands from underwater i mean this kind of looks like a continent type structure let's see what the continents look like on this planet let's let it rotate around not a lot of land coverage which is actually good for life because you know life evolved in the ocean so it's good to have mostly water and then land for life to evolve onto eventually 
eventually. Um, okay, let's go ahead and look at that other planet that also has marine and terrestrial life. I don't know how it's marine. I don't see any oceans. Is this one tidally locked? Oh, and it's tidally locked. So I don't know if this is going to be any good. Let's see what the back looks like. We'll have to turn up the ambient lighting. Doesn't look like too much. I wonder why it says marine life. Where is, oh, is this water? There's a very, very small amounts of water, it looks like. And is that it? That might just be it. There's like little tiny little ponds, which I guess have life in them. So it's probably just very basic kind of life, but it is cool looking. I think the other planet would definitely develop life better. We had one more that matched our criteria. Ooh, okay, this is 91% or similarity. Okay, here we go. It's got a little tiny ring on it. That's, that's kind of cute. Um, another solar eclipse happening. That's pretty cool. I mean, you get solar eclipses a lot more when you have a lot of small moons. You can see, we can literally see two happening. But I really like the continent coverage on this. Wow, that's actually super cool. I wonder what, like if humans lived here, what would the countries look like? Because there's not a lot of natural borders. It all kind of connects weird islands, but there's bigger islands and they all have water running in them and they all have kind of like this grain effect to them um let's kind of get closer whoa look at these like weird mountain structures these are kind of cool it'd be really cool to see this would be a good place for like a fantasy book i think <laughs> like all of this all these continents the way they all connect is really cool to me so that was the black eye galaxy i'm gonna search for one more planet kind of above the center so we could kind of get a view of the whole galaxy from the planet let's just click around on these stars see if there's anything oh Ooh, this one's got two kind of purplish gas giants. Wow. Okay, let's go to one of its moons and we'll take a look at what the galaxy would look like. So here's one of that gas giant's moons. Go onto the night side. Whoa. Okay, this is realistically lit, um, but we do need to kind of adjust the exposure a little bit. Check that out. You can see the entire galaxy now just taking up a big section of the sky. Very, very cool looking. This is probably one of my favorite galaxies I have gone to. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have a galaxy you want me to go look for stuff in, let me know what it is in the comments below. Um, thank you for watching. Join my Discord server if you haven't. Uh, we do some cool stuff on there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.